M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Quanshang K5 on the left, running the scope. And if you press the PTT, you're back to the normal screen. Press the button underneath. And you're back to the scope. Now the scope is a movable scope and it does scan the whole section of the band here. So just uh, look into the, uh, the details of the upload and you'll get more info. On the right hand side, we're running the, the new sort of signal meter. So let's push something. And they, you know, they will both run this signal meter. It's, it's, ex it's excellent firmware updates that people are doing. Uh, you know, typical ham radio operators experimenting. So try that one out as well. I'm just pushing buttons to get the, the backlight to come on. So on the right hand side, we've got the UVK6. It has a flatter display, flatter here and here. Flatter buttons, or, well I think they're flatter, but I prefer this this style here because it's got the metal surrounding. I do really like the and the bolts, the style. But, but really, they're the same radio. Inside, I think, inside the same, the same firmware, the same, they cover the same bands, and they do cover several bands. So for what they cost, I mean, the amount of people I hear um, that, uh, that pick faults with these radios, but they for what they cost, under £20, £18, they're, they're an absolute bargain. They've got a nice LED there, torch, FM radio. If you go F, they are, FM radio. Working with the companies, yeah. It did, I mean, we did kind of scripted work and then we The did, scope, uh, when the scope's on though, it does make well, this noise. So, kind of so you, you um, can't have both, but the nice thing is that when it is on, the, the backlight stays on, so it'd be nice if we get a modification that keeps the backlight on because I haven't seen that modification yet but it seems doable because we've got it staying on with this and the scope looks even better with the yellow back screen and I prefer the yellowy orange back screen band wise if you just go F on this one we'll go F1 it's come out of radio a minute it's FFM so the way this works is that you've got the F button and then look at the numbers written on the actual keys one two three it, there are you know there are functions so you just press the F if we push band we might have to go into VFO mode so go F VFO mode on the A band if you go F there's A and B on number two we're on A so we go F band see the bands 490 50 megahertz I'm going to have to check, test that on my local repeater, 120, 145, 245, 350, and I think it actually does more than that, I think if with the right modification it does 1208, 50, uh, so you know, it's, 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 if you're a ham radio operator or you, or you need a receiver, these are going to be great fun. These aren't top-end devices. There's no point comparing them to, for example, uh, a Yaesu FT5. It's completely pointless. And then saying, oh, it doesn't receive as good, and ETC, the battery is you know, different. You know, there, you know, this is a £400 radio. The, these are 18 so I feel that we're very, very lucky that they decided to make these devices because they're such good fun. I mean, they've even uploaded ping pong games to these. Now, do we need one? No. But the fact that a ham operator, an experimenter, has gone out of his way and, and is designing different things that we can do with these devices, and they've cost us £18, which is, is a trip to McDonald's. Um, lucky us, that's what I think. But... Um, yeah, I I, really, I use mine all the time, and I've got three now, uh, and I just think they're great fun. So on this one, look at the signal meter here. Uh, we just go back to memory, F, memory, and look, you've got the signal meter here, RSSI reading there, which is 0.23, and how good is that? How can you not enjoy that? But thanks for watching my channel. Enjoy, enjoy the hobby. Please like and subscribe, 7-3, all the best.